हेलो दोस्तों आई विश के आप लोग बढ़िया होंगे फाइन होंगे सो टुडे विल डू द ईस्ट आर्टिफिशियल क्रोमोसोम वेक्टर इट हैज़ द कैपेसिटी टू क्लोन थाउजेंड के बी ऑफ जीन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट सेकेंड इट कैन क्लोन द जीन इन ईस्ट सेल ऑल्सो इट कैन रेप्लीकेट इन अ बैक्टीरियल सेल ऑल्सो बैक्टीरियल सेल सो वी कैन कॉल इट अ शटल वैक्टर ऑल्सो शटल वैक्टर ऑल्सो दिस वैक्टर एज इट इज अ शटल वैक्टर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टडी अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज वट आर द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ दीज वैक्टर properties of this yak first it have some sequence that has must required that is autonomous replicating sequence telomeres telomeres telomer sequence third is that is must required that is your uh, say autonomous replicating telomeres and centromere sequences now this what is the role of these uh, three important component autonomous replicating sequence help this ya yeah, this uh, vector to multiply in a yeast cell so here is a host the yeast cell connect so it help in multiplication telomer it will maintain the ends maintain the end means it must be replicated the end must be replicated so that's where telomer sequences then the centromere this is required this is required for equally division or you can say equally distribution equally distribution of vector at the time of cell division so these are the important thing now as i told you ki this is also replicate in a bacterial cell so for the bacterial cell we need an origin of replication here we have origin replication ori site also what else required ampicillin resistant gene that can be used as a marker here okay so called it a shuttle vector because it can multiply in both of the cell the yeast cell and the bacterial cell now we'll go more in detail how it how this uh, will work okay so here we have taken example of yak 3 it is molecular weight 11.4 kb now it has the component that is centromere autonomous replicating sequence tryptophan 1 gene and then we have this this i round it these are the required for the bacterial cell selection you can use it then the telomer sequence at the end so here one telomer second telomer and okay then we have U, ura gene 3 and then we have a sup4 gene so for a gene to be insert in this what we need we need a restriction site so we can have a restriction site here bam h1 bam h1 so here at the end of the telomer sequence we have the bam h1 sequences mean the restriction site for bam h1 similarly in the sup4 we have the restriction site for sna b1 okay so these are the three restriction site we'll discuss here now when you when you digest with the bam h1 s sna b1 uh restriction enzyme what it lead it lead to synthesis of an two arms okay so it is a left arm it is a right arm this is left arm and this is a right arm what is we have the telomer sequence this one trip one sequence tryptophan this one is represented here centromere sequence this is represent here and the sup4 so it has been re represented so here we need to take care ki the restriction restriction is with two 
रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम वन वी आर टेकिंग बैम एच वन सेकेंड वी आर डूइंग एस एन ए बी वन so there is a two restriction enzyme we are using now when you use two restriction enzyme one cutting is made here here and one cutting is made here so it will it will you will get this portion so this portion this portion you are getting one arm okay second you are getting this portion this is a second arm so we, we divide it if you divide this one like here i'll i'll just make some so when you cutting it like this so as you before cut this one so it will become your left arm when it, it this part will become right arm is it clear now this is a left arm this is a right arm now here let us let us take this gene of interest here here in a genome so there's a genome so we will cut with an restriction enzyme so we'll get a fragment of gene of interest now the gene of interest will be added here will be added here in the insert portion the gene of interest will be added so here the gene of interest will be added here with the help of enzyme we can say we can use enzyme dna lysis so here the gene of interest will be added now to, uh, this this is a sequence the right left arm right arm now it here we have added a gene of interest here i wish it is clear with you okay now then we'll transform transfect into the e cell then we'll go for the recombinant selection okay, which one is a recombinant and which is non recombinant now as i told you as i told you in the earlier also okay when we are going to transformed now here is a linear okay this is a linear dna now when we are going to transformed into a yeast cell so there's a one chance that we'll get an transformed means a vector with gene of interest another a vector without gene of interest vector without gene of interest so it is with gene without gene of interest so what we need we need that one we need that cell with the gene of interest now most important point here can you see this one this is an sup4 gene that gene has the ability to synthesize it will synthesize an trna which will suppress the mutation in gene that we call ade21 so these gene mutation mean the mutation will be suppressed if the mutation is there if the mutation is there okay if the mutation is there the uh, it will it will lead to white colony white colored white colored colonies if mutation take place the selection can be done with the help of cup4 gene now what we have done we have cutted this gene okay we have we have cloning site here means we are inserting a gene of interest here in the sup gene you can see here here is a sup4 su and this is also a sup4 gene this this one and this one okay we are cutting it from the middle okay now if this gene is active if this gene is active it will synthesize an trna which will suppress which will suppress the mutation in ade21 gene to ye kya kar raha it will suppress now it will produce the mean colony the colonies or the yeast will form a white colored i repeat sup4 effective produce an trna which suppress the mutation in ade21 gene and if the mutation is suppressed there will be a red, white colony now if this gene is disrupted or inactivated by insertion 
of gene of interest so it is no more able to synthesize the trna no more synthesize means there is no suppression of mutation in trna and the, there will formation of a colonies there will be colony which are showing red in color so the transformed transformed yeast cell with the vector with the gene of interest will be a red in color so in this way you can go for selection 